Got you on to 75 here with a grill alert. I don't like to use the word grill often, but um, the statue warrants it. Seriously, I'm not even a huge Gambit fan, but I am a huge fan of the statue. This premium format from Sideshow Collectibles looks unbelievable. It's getting a lot, and let me tell you, when you see it in person, it does it justice. This is getting a lot of rave review from all the uh, people on the forum that actually own it and have seen it in person. It looks amazing. It's a great premium format. I'm really happy with it. I mean, I'm talking like future maybe Captain America numbers here. But let's start reviewing. This is uh, the exclusive edition. I'll get into that, what's exclusive about it later. But Sideshow exclusive edition is number 447 of 750. They did do a high edition size for the exclusive, which a lot of people are not too happy about. But still, this thing's amazing. No complaints here at all. I looked at this statue from the base to the top, and I could not find a flaw. The only flaw with the statue was how Sideshow shipped it. A lot of people were complaining that um, they were coming damaged. Thank God, no damage on this baby. All I got was a silica gel packet was uh, broken open, so I had the little diamond gel beads everywhere and they're all over my kitchen when I came out. But other than that, no damage. All right, let's get into review of this statue. Let's start at the base. The base down here is so heavy, it's sturdy. I'm not gonna even lift this up, but on the bottom is a nice picture of Gambit. You know, it says a number and all that stuff. But this base is so cool. It's just like this glossy black, and kind of like a matte, dull red X for the X-Men. Obviously, Gambit's an X-Men. Looks unbelievable. The boots are all polystone. His costume's just amazing. You can see the side of his legs, too, with the purple down the side. Just classic Gambit costume. This is all polystone. Everything is polystone except for the jacket. The jacket is where the premium format lies, uh, the mixed media. There's all wires in this jacket throughout the, uh, I have it posed so it looks pretty cool like it's blown in the wind. But you know, everything's wired, the collar's wired, the belt's wired. This is loose, I'm not gonna finagle with it too much. You slide it in, a lot of people are having trouble getting it in, it's not that bad once you carefully fiddle with it. But it slides like a needle through thread through his hand. <clears throat> the belts have wire in them. Now. Let me give you a few spins around. The jacket is so cool. Like, I wish I owned this jacket if they had it in life size. Really like it a lot. Right now I have the uh, long head gambit head. It comes, the regular edition comes with both heads. I'm gonna switch it out. If you look, well, I'll let you get a good look at this head. And his eyes, the nice and red. Gambit with his magic. I'll just give you a quick spin around so you can see all the hair. There's a hole in the hair, kind of like you can see through it. See the back of his hair. And now I'll take the head off. It's a magnet, it's a giant magnet. I'll show you the head. This is cool, the magnet's totally hidden. It's no metal piece anywhere. Gotta be careful when handling the hair, I don't wanna break it, but that's pretty much it. There's a little hole in the hair there too. You can see daylight through it. And then there. Let's switch this over to the short head head with the cigarette. I would like to call this the badass gambit head. And another difference in this head is it also has like the astrological symbol there on the neck. So it's pretty cool. It fits in perfect. There's no crease, nothing. Just amazing work on the statue. And you can see the um, cigarette. Actually, let me give you, I'll give you a close-up view of the. You can see his eyes, nice and glossy. And the cigarette looks like it's burning. It's a little crooked at the tip. And you can see the back of his head. A lot of people thought that the cigarette was broken, but it's actually just bent. It's supposed to be that way. I kind of put the collar up with him with the short hair. Looks a little more badass. Um, the first hand you get, now here's what the exclusive is. You get both heads with the regular. But with the exclusive, I do believe you get the regular hand with the regular ace of spades that's really cool and detailed a lot of people were getting these with that broken off too but I got lucky there's the regular hand now I'll put the exclusive switch out I just want to be a little careful with this 
It's a magnet. It's a strong magnet. It goes in nice and easy. With the uh, energy throughout the cards that he's throwing. Actually, let me give you a good look at it, too. You can see the multiple cards that he's throwing with the energy. It looks amazing. Saichu did a really good job, Pat. you got to be really careful with this. It's almost very flimsy. I almost felt like I was going to break it. So, let's not do that. And I'll put this back on. Make sure the magnet's got a good... Okay. I'll just give you a few spins around with the magic hand. I'll let you see the back. That's it, the jacket. And the belt. Looks badass. I love it. I love it. I, I'm definitely going to display it like this. I like it with the shorter hair with the cigarette and the, uh, the exclusive hand with the magic cards with the energy going through them. Let's get a good still of that too so you can hop back and pause that for the display for the video. So this is Statue Hunter 75 here with the Sideshow exclusive quarter scale premium format of Gambit, one of the X-Men. And this is number 447 of 750.